Okay, so hello guys. Uh, if you could see sa ito niya module, we have there the topics about the internet working devices. So if we talk about internet working devices, we are going to go back to the idea of networking devices. So this will be an introduction to the topics we are supposed to discuss. So what comes into our mind especially if we talk about networking, is the same picture illustrated here at the left side of this representation. So wherein we have a computer devices interconnected with each other, such as kung anong nagkakita na sa mga uh, computer shops or sa mga computer laboratories. So yes, that is correct. That is uh, networking, but we could also include in our concept of networking the other devices that we connect in our network, such as the laptops, the cell phones, or probably we would have the network printers na ginagamit sa mga offices. So, in general, we could say that a network refers to the devices that are connected to one another. So, we are talking about networking. So, what is the specific purpose of, or the goal of networking? So, if we talk about networking, the goal or the purpose is to share data. So, to share data to specific members of your network. So, when we talk about data, we have discussed in our prelim topics the different type of data and this does not only limits to the data na ginasend naton like um, mga text or mga words na ginasend naton but this also includes this could be video this could be images na ginasend naton or the music sounds nga pwede naton i send so just like for example in Facebook you could uh, Send sa inyong mga picture, pwede ka man maka-watch sa mga videos, pwede ka man maka-read sa mga post na kakita nimo. So that is because Facebook is a social networking site. So that is the one of the best examples ang network nga kakita natin. So if we talk about networking, we need to focus our understanding on the types of networks. So, ano mga types of networks? So, we have discussed different types of networks like personal area network and a lot more. But for this discussion, let us focus on the local area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. So, what are the differences between these types of network? So, let's start with the local area network based on the previous videos we have so we have discussed that local area networks uh, is defined as the connection within a cent uh, with any specific location such as for example a certain building but if we talk about networking ang local area network wala lang siya naga naga talk sa concept nga dapat ara siya sa isa ka location yung isa ka single building but local area network for example mi ara ka isa ka building then you have um you occupied first floor before for example second floor kag uh, sa babaw naman yung floor like 8th floor or 10th floor kag gusto ni mo i-connect ang inyo nga mga uh, floors so if you are the one ang inyo company for example ang mahimo isang paagi para mangin connected ang inyo nga mga floors sa uh, specific na building then that could still be a local area network even if you have a building for example uh, isa ka building nga occupied for example sang okay so you have your own building occupied na nga daan occupied na ni sang bilog ninyo nga mga mga employees so you so kay puno na nga building you create another building so if you connect still a common japon or inyo man japon company ang nagprocess sina that could still be a local area network so this go out sa aton definition nga dapat ara siya sa specific na building nga aton nga connection pwede man nga your company provide a wireless na switch diri sa babaw so wireless to connect with the other ni building for as long as your company ang nag uh, initiate to connect sang duwa ka 
area that still would be a local area network. So, ano ang kinalain si Niu with your metropolitan area network? So, if we talk about metropolitan area network, so, okay, so, that is the type of connection that interconnects resources in a specific geographic region of the size of a metropolitan area. So this is the definition yung nagkakakuha natin o nakuha natin sa previous new discussion video. So this, uh, ang new discussion could have a representation nga this one. So you have, for example, a central office. Then you have a regional branch office, which is medyo hindi manggid amun akalayo, which is um, represented by this distance, for example. So you have another off or nga facility, which is the factory. You have also a warehouse. So malapitan na lang sala within a certain metropolitan nga area. So that is your war, uh, metropolitan area network. But take note, pwede ka man dyan po metropolitan area network bisan ara ka lang sa specific na building. This is in consideration of the networking ideas. So, you could have some man or metropolitan area network. For example, you have your first floor, you have your second floor, you have your eighth floor, there is a babaw. So, if this one, wala, hindi yung inyong nga company ang ma- initiate to connect or to interconnect ang sininga mga floors, but you uh, choose nga maagi ka mo sa inyo ISP or sa inyo internet service provider para mangin connected ang ininga mga specific, specific mga floors. So, uh, that will already be a metropolitan area network. So, take note of the difference. If kamo ang nag-initiate, that is a local area network, if ginpaagi ninyo sa specific na internet service provider or atong ISP, that will already be a metropolitan area network. So, next, we have a wide area network. So, ano ang wide area network? So, this covers a large geographical nga. Area. So, based on this example here, we have, for example, a jasmine tower or a tower nga located there, for example, sa aton. You have another branch nga within a specific metropolitan area lang. So, another branch, so, nga located lapit lang sa aton nga, a jasmine tower. So, this nga mga branches are connected sa aton nga jasmine tower through a metropolitan area network. But, for example, you have a headquarter country. For example, sa China, sa Japan, sa Singapore. So, that will be connected sa aton nga Jasmine Tower through your wide area network. Kung ara na sa uh, Gua or sa other countries, ang imong ginang uh, connection or the network nga dapat kita mga connect that will already be a wide area network. So, that's uh, the type of networks na kinangalan kita mangin aware before kita mag-proceed with the network devices. So, when we talk about network devices, so one of the pinakanaming example will be in the offices, for example. So, you have, for example, your personal laptop and uh, you are working in a specific na office. So, kisa we uh, decide na hindi pag-save ang mga devices sa atong personal laptop but we have a server sa atong mga offices na pwede kita makasave sa atong laptop. So, pwede nga you save or masend ka sa information pa kato sa imong laptop or sa imong server. So, for example, in the next day, gusto ko liwat mag-work with that the same na file. So, ang himuun ko, I will request sa akong nga host or sa akong nga server. So, nga kinanglanan ko. So, I will locate the IP address sa ako nga server and then ang matabo, ang server ko is send niya nga kung kinanglanan nga devices. So, this is a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So, ang imong nga laptop ang ginconsidered na to na sa client then ang host na to na will be considered or amun um, siya ang host na to ng aton nga server. Okay, since this is an introduction to the internet working devices so we will have 
to take an example sa basic ng uh, networking ng uh, connection sa aton mga balay. So we have Siyempre, we have an internet. This is from your ISP or your internet service provider. Whether it be PLDT, pwede man Globe, pwede Converge kung nara ka mo sa Manila, pwede man dito, for example, kung may ara na ang dito nga uh, uh, service provider. So, ang aton yung mga service provider, they are providing us with a modem. So, ang modem ngay na, that is... That will be the one gamito na to uh, dra kita makonect sa aton nga uh, internet. So we have your laptop, for example, connecting through your wireless fidelity or Wi-Fi. So kagang aton yung mga devices like cell phones. So connected sila through Wi-Fi. But oftentimes, ang aton yung mga personal na computers or mga PC, so they are connected through a cable or LAN cable. So which will be discussed later on as the components of aton nga internet working devices. Okay? So same concept applies sa network nga gakatabo sa aton mga offices. But there are just some modifications nga pwede uh, naton himuon. So still the same, we have your internet service provider, then you have your modem. So then, ang aton yung modem will be connected to a firewall. So especially kung dagko ng mga company, ang mga ginahimo nila, they provide a firewall. What is the purpose ng firewall? This is to provide a security sa kabilugan ni mga network. In order for the attackers or mga hackers, for example, in a specific network, so this is to provide some security sa bilog na network. Then, after sa aton nga firewall, there will be a connection sa aton nga network switch. So the network switch will be the one naman nga makonek sa aton nga mga devices kag sa aton nga server. So mga devices naton, this one will be aton nga mga personal computers will be connected through a LAN cable. So same also with the server naton. So but for example, you have another uh, working area, for example, sa another floor. So, in order, medyo layo na siya, so, but we could use a another nga router nga pwede natin magamit in order to uh, work with sa aton nga specific nga working area. And then, ang aton nga mga devices dira, like laptops, for example, or mga mobile devices will be connected through your Wi-Fi or your wireless fidelity. So, this is just a simple introduction of the concept of networking and I do hope it is made clear to si you kung ano, ang, kung ano ang networking. So for the next discussion video, we will be discussing what are the considerations or what are the things we need to uh, consider if we are going to have a good network. So if we are going to design a network later on, especially if you are into the track to uh, be a network engineer. So we are going to learn the um, things needed in building or designing a specific network. So for now, thank you. Stay safe and watch out for our next video.